And up second today, we're going to talk with Val Phils up in Ocanto with Newcap. Val, thanks so much for talk, taking some time for us to tell us a little bit about your operation up there. Um, Newcap was established in 1965 in Northeast Wisconsin. Um, it was part of the establishment of the Community Action Network that President Johnson was started years ago. We have a 10 county service area and multiple programs that that we have here uh, working with low income families. So we know Val, the, the operation is, is big um, with NewCap. We talked about that just a little bit ago. How many counties and how much service area you actually cover? It's, it's quite a big area. Well, we are a cap agency in 10 counties, uh, but for weatherization services, we have a seven county service territory, uh, which includes Brown, Ocanto, Shano, Marinette, Menominee, Forest and Florence. And then we also serve the tribal jurisdictions um, within those counties, which are Oneida, the Oneida Nation, Stockbridge, Muncie, and the Mole Lake tribes. Yeah, you told me you could really rack up the miles uh, around that area, couldn't you? Yes, we could. <laughs> uh, there, some of our job sites can be, you know, two-hour drive one way, hour and a half, two hours. So um, we are spread out quite a ways. Um, our total service area is about 15,000 miles. With some of the rural housing stock that I'm sure you guys deal with a good amount of that, um, how much of an impact do you see this program making, especially for some of those older homes or ones that were built a long time ago or maybe not insulated very well? I mean, there's a big impact on those um, residents that don't have insulation or very little insulation. You know, we can go in and insulate the attics and the sidewalls a lot of times, do a lot of air sealing. So to reduce their energy burden and their energy cost, we can look at their furnaces and water heaters. And if there's an issue with those or they're old, we can replace those with high efficiency units. Same with refrigerators, that type of thing. So there's a lot that we can do to reduce a customer's energy burden and energy costs. And the fuel sources too, sometimes in those uh, more remote areas, gives us a chance to do more of that fuel conversion. Do you guys do a lot of that too? We do quite a bit of fuel conversion. Um, in the rural areas, there's still a lot of propane and some oil. Um, but if the natural gas is getting to more of the area, so if the customers want, if that's their desire to switch to natural gas, then we have that ability to do that. Now, Val, we can't totally let you off the hook here. You've been in, the weatherization program has been around more than 40 years, but you started out pretty early in the game, haven't you? You've been around a while doing this program. Yep. I started back in 1986 at an entry-level position in the weatherization department here at NUCAP. Um, didn't really know what weatherization was or a whole lot about our agency even. Um, but I learned a lot in, uh, in a short period of time and over the years. I think it was a bit of an advantage to kind of start at the bottom and work my way up. Um, I get, was had the opportunity to learn a lot of different aspects of what we do, the, you know, the program, um, the day-to-day -day operations, you know, it, so it, I feel it was to my advantage to be able to learn of the, about all of that through the years. So it, I've been the program director for t about 10 years now. So it took a while to get there, but we, <laughs> we do have um, a lot of longevity with our employees. Um, so when my predecessor um, retired, about 10 years ago, and he was here for many years before that, um, then I had the opportunity to take that role. We appreciate your service and everything you've done over the years for that. That's a long time to be involved in this. Um, and it takes a lot of dedication, I think, to continue through that. I wanted to get back a little bit more to some of the specifics about um, the operation for weatherization for NUCAP, about how many jobs, about how many households and people are you impacting every year? So we serve on the average about 390 to 400 homes um, each year. And we have our own staff that does all of our work. So we do everything in-house. 
So we have the weatherization crews that do the insulating and the shell measures. Uh, we have HVAC staff, um, licensed plumber, licensed electrician. So we do all of our work in-house. So there are 27 in the, in the weatherization department here, including myself, in addition to the number of customers that we are able to serve it, we do, um, we are creating, you know, have jobs for folks as well. Yeah, I think that's an interesting impact as well, but the, just how the money that is invested in the program also helps the local economy, helps improve the, that house, of course, but also the community, the neighborhood, mm-hmm. and the local economy as well gets kind of distributed around um, as we th- really think about how many people these dollars are, are impacting. Um, do you have a do you have a positive story that kind of sticks out or a recent one, Val, about an interaction with an employee or a customer uh, re- related to weatherization? We actually get quite a few um, thank you notes and letters of appreciation from our customers, um, t- letting us know you know how they appreciate the work that we've done, um, the energy savings that we provided for them. On the average in Wisconsin, a house that receives full weatherization, it's an annual energy cost savings of about $430. So that gives folks some funds to put towards other needs they may have, whether it be food or medication, um, whatever they might need. I guess one that sticks out is a, a single parent with two small children we were able to insulate her home. Um, We replaced the furnace, the water heater, um, and she was just very grateful for what we had done. And, you know, those were things that she didn't have to worry about now. The elderly folks too, um, that are on fixed incomes, they, they are always, you know, grateful for having improvements made to their home and, and, getting a new furnace or whatever that their need may be. We get a lot of thank yous, I guess. <laughs> yeah. That's always nice to hear from customers that we, we understand, you know, the work is making an impact, but it's nice to hear you know, on a personal level, what it means to them, because a lot of times, especially the weatherization staff, you know, they're just, they're rolling around and crawling around in dirty places, tough places to work, doing mm-hmm. the best, you know, they can making those improvements And um, it's nice to know that, you know, it benefits a person as well. Um, I love the sign that you have there, Val. I just started noticing that. And uh, that's incredible. That's that's great stuff and inspirational stuff behind you there. Um, One other thing, just give us before we go, again, how can people get in touch with you? I know you guys do some on social media. So that's one way to find out about what NewCap is doing. Also your website. Um, Give us the website again. And then tell us all the social media platforms you guys are on. Um, We are on... Facebook um, and our our website is just newcap.org that gives an oversight of all of our programs. There's applications that can be filled out off the website and folks can always call as well. Uh, we have a toll-free number, uh, 1-800-242-7334. But the website and uh, Facebook are a good are good resources to, or a good way to um, access the information on our our agency and then our program. All right, Val, thanks so much for all of your service over the years in weatherization and with NUCAP. Uh, Thanks for taking care of people up in the Northeast part of the state. We appreciate Mm -hmm. it and love what you guys do. It's very gratifying work. It really is. Um, That's Val Phils from NUCAP up in Oconto, and we will talk with someone new next hour here on Weatherization Day.